feeling like you're dropping the ball and don't know how to get back on top, this episode is for you. You're listening to the Dynamic Women Podcast. Each week, you'll be inspired by our global community of women. They'll share with you tools and stories to help you be dynamic in every area of life. He's your host, award-winning coach, and the CEO and founder of Dynamic Women, Diane Ralston. Hello, lovely Dynamic Women, and welcome to the Dynamic Women podcast. I'm Diane Ralston, your host, and we're talking all things balance today, mainly this metaphor about, you know, we're juggling all these balls in our lives. And what do we do when we're dropping the ball? You know what it's like when you didn't reply to an email, you were supposed to pick something up and you forgot. You didn't call someone back. All these different things when you've got so much on your plate. Now, this could just be a normal thing where you just like always have stuff on your plate and you're always busy and you're always running from one thing to another. Or maybe it's come more so in that life just got busy all of a sudden. Maybe you took on an extra project or an extra client or maybe you went from doing one type of job to now adding on a whole nother role. You know, even being your kid's softball coach adds another layer of responsibility. And I know that you want to be on top of things. I know you want to be the one who not only does what they say they would do, but does it in a way that has great results. You don't want to be just doing things at 50%. I know you want to get things done the right way and the right way on time with the best results possible. So what do we do when we have so many balls that we're juggling in the air or so many plates that we're spinning? How do we get through that time where things are crazy? And in one way or another, we are going to drop something, forget something, not complete something, and not do the best job that we wanted to do. That's what I'm talking about today. This is something I mentioned in a post, in an Instagram post. And actually one of my clients was like, I want to, I want to talk about this more. Tell me more about this. This It's such a great idea. And the idea was that there are glass balls and there are rubber balls and we're juggling both of them or all of them, but both kinds. And so it comes to this place of like, How do we know which balls we can drop and which ones we can't? You see things like maybe your health, your kids, your bills. These are the glass balls, the balls that if you drop them, they will break, they will crack and there will be consequences. Maybe that means you have creditors coming after you. Maybe that means your employees aren't getting paid or your kids aren't taken care of. Or maybe because of some health condition that you have by you not taking care of yourself even a little bit can cause you to end up in hospital or in bed for a few days. So first of all, how do you know which are glass balls and which are rubber balls? Well, I have to let you know that this will change constantly. And so it's about really you sitting down with all the areas of life. And I usually talk about 10 areas with my clients, looking at all the areas of life and asking yourself, which are my top priorities right now in life? See, other times maybe my house wasn't a priority or I was super healthy and so my health wasn't as big a priority or my marriage was good and so that wasn't as big a priority or we had lots of money in the bank and that's not a priority. But maybe other things are. Maybe a family is a priority. Maybe my spiritual life's a priority. So you have to ask yourself, at this moment in time, which areas of my life are the most important? And by most important, I mean, which areas, if dropped, will break, will crack, there will be consequences. And you may be thinking, well, I just don't even know all the areas. So one way you can know all the areas is reach out to me, diane at dianerolson.com. I have this amazing tool called the Wheel of Life, and I'm happy to share it with you and even to have a conversation about it. Let me go through the different areas. There's fun and recreation, career, finances, health, significant other romance, family, friends, spiritual, personal development, and your physical environment. So I'd say maybe you have three or four glass balls. And oftentimes when life gets overwhelming or when we get sick, 
or something extra falls onto our plate, this is when we have to go into maintenance mode. This means the mode where you figure out which are glass balls, which are rubber balls, and which things can I drop or lower my standards in, lower my attention and my focus in so that you don't have to worry about those areas as much. For example, the time when my son broke his femur, he was about two and a half, he was in a full body cast, basically a full body cast, they call it a hip spike cast. And with that, he was at home, not at daycare for the first while, and he needed me for everything. And he was at the point where he could tell me what he wanted. And you know how toddlers are. They want a lot and very quickly. And so with that, I'm working from home, but I'm also caring for him. So I knew that things like cleanliness of the house or seeing my friends and time with my husband at that point just wasn't as important. These were a few of the balls that I could just let bounce. They were rubber. And other times, like in the passing of my father, or even in the time, just in the week that he was in palliative care, I knew that my glass balls at that moment were my family, my health, my friends, and my spiritual life. My business, I put on the back burner. My house, well, I wasn't even around it because I was in Ontario. And fun and recreation, these other areas just were not on my radar. So I ask you now, Based on where you are in life, which are the glass balls that you're juggling and which ones are your rubber balls? And now that you know that, what do you do with that information? Well, basically, you need to make sure that your calendar has time for the glass balls, that your schedule adds in focus time, that you can do things to help those areas, strengthen them or check things off on your list. And then look at the rubber balls. What does it mean to kind of let things go in those areas? to let things slide, or to go into maintenance mode where you just maintain that that level or you let it go just slightly below your satisfaction level and you don't put as much focus on it. So what does that look like? For example, if you were to do this with friends, does that mean you reach out to friends and you just say, hey, you know, I've got this big project at work right now. I'm not going to be able to, to make our weekly meal out or a weekly call. It's just for the next three weeks and then I would love to reconnect with you all. That'd be okay, right? That'd be acceptable. Maybe you've been reading every day for 10 minutes or a half hour or an hour and you know that you need that extra time to be able to check in on a family member. Great, so be it. So you just don't do that as much. But you get to make that decision. You get to decide what am I keeping and what am I putting on pause or just not putting as much time and energy into. So this idea of we're all juggling glass balls and rubber balls really just comes down to know your priorities, the ones that will have consequences if you don't focus on them, and then give yourself permission to let the other balls bounce. You don't have to be on top of everything in every single area of life. This tactic is really one of the easiest ways to rebalance your life, to be able to refocus on the things that are most important and that will really help you to move forward. And as a reminder, each moment of every life could give you a different set of priorities, a different set of glass balls. So you just really need to be the one to make that decision. Then put a plan in place and let those around you know if they're gonna be involved or affected by it. Many times in my life, I have had to go into maintenance mode. I have had to let the rubber balls just bounce and bounce and bounce. This is not a forever thing. Eventually you do get to pick those balls up and you do get to honor those priorities again. But you know, at certain points in your life, it just doesn't matter that your house is immaculate. It just doesn't matter that you're not reading every day. It just doesn't matter that you don't have a hundred friends that you keep in contact with every day. It doesn't matter. What matters is your sanity. What matters is your priorities. And what matters is you're going to be able to overcome this and move into a time where you get to pick all those balls up again and juggle them with calm and with confidence. So who needs to hear this episode today? Share it with them and make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these awesome solo shows. Now, I do like to hang out with my listeners and I would love to see you in the Dynamic Women Global Community, our free Facebook group where I answer questions and I hang out. And I love to do that. So check the show notes for the link so that I can see you in there. 
And if you're looking for a way to find more balance in your life or to go deeper on your priorities and how to really figure out what which balls are glass and which balls are rubber, then reach out. Let's have a conversation. You can message me, Diane at DianeRolson.com. That's my personal email and I'd be happy to have a chat with you. Until next time, stay dynamic. Bye. Thank you, Dynamic Women, for joining us today. Please hop on over to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a review. Who do you know who needs to hear our message? We'd love it if you'd share our channel with your friends and family. If you're ready to be more dynamic, have more balance and more success, head over to www.dynamicwomenclub.com forward slash free gift for your key to success book. Stay dynamic.